Ready, Mark? Yes, sir. Yes. Uh, really, really disappointed in, in uh, the way that we played. And uh, credit Georgia Tech. I mean, they, uh, they played well. Uh, they played well defensively from the start. Uh, our first half was awful uh, offensively. Uh, we have turnovers that lead to points. We miss field goal. Uh, and we're still just down 13 to 7. So I'm, I'm as bad as I felt at halftime. I knew we had to do better the second half. So offensively, we made some adjustments and did better the second half. And then defensively, uh, give credit to Sims. Um, we, I think they had 81, 82 yards first half. And Sims came in and did a tremendous job. Uh, um, that second half, we couldn't stop him. I think he rushed for 130-something yards. So uh, we get 63 yards rushing. They get 261. We've always said the team that runs the ball the best wins the game. Uh, and then uh, we have a bunch of turnovers, and we gain none. So uh, that's just uh, – uh, that's the story of the game. Uh, and we missed a field goal. Um, so um, we um, – very, very similar to the Florida State game last year at this time. Uh, so we, we haven't – uh, matured enough as a as a group uh, to win a, a fun game at home and uh, have the sixth best offensive output in our school history uh, last week and and come in this week and just have a, a really difficult first half. Um, thought the kids tried, thought they fought through it at the second half, but uh, uh, I'm I'm disappointed. Um, I'm embarrassed by our our play, uh, by our coaching, by me. Um, hate it for our fans because the fans have been so good since I've been back. Sally's been back, and, and this is not uh, this is not who we want to be or who we are. Uh, we do have to put this behind us. We've got to learn from it, and I'm I'm the first one that has to do that. And and we have to get ready for Duke, and Duke's playing really well. Okay, we've got a few questions already in the queue. We'll go uh, right over to Greg Barnes. Go ahead, Greg. Hey, Mac. Uh, did you get the sense that the Sam was a little bit frustrated and maybe tried to do too much there in the first half? Uh, we didn't help him much, Greg. I, th I thought it looked similar to Virginia Tech. Whole thing. We we um, we were frustrated as a offense. I thought that maybe that the, they they got the false impression that after they ran up and down the field so easily last week that it was just going to be easy now, and they had it. And and you can't do that in this game. You got to learn from it. You got to start over every week and. Uh, anybody who follows college football and watches these scores every Saturday, they're crazy and crazy things are happening and less teams are beating better teams. And, and um, you, you just, you got to learn. And, and we, this is a, it's a hard lesson. Uh, I told them you don't get this back, but yes, I thought we looked like we did at Virginia tech in the first half. Uh, we looked frustrated. We, we couldn't run it consistently. And, and um, we had sacks. I, I can't imagine if you uh, if you go for a second and one, a third and one, a fourth and one, and can't make it, you're going to get beat. I, I mean, I, that is really hard not to make. And and we were able to accomplish that tonight. So that, that's uh, um, I knew we were in trouble when we couldn't do that. Thanks. Thank you. Let's go to CL Brown. Go ahead, CL. Mike, yeah, I, I was going to ask you about that. Uh, the fourth and one um, decision, given that it was a short field and, and at that point in the game, it was still still kind of early, but but did you feel that that might be able to jumpstart the offense, getting getting a confidence booster, getting a first down there and, and maybe being able to do something with it? Yes, CL, uh, the, I, I thought it was an awful message to our team on second and one if I don't think they can make third and one and fourth and one. And, and and, and we didn't. Uh, it was very, very disappointing. We went for another fourth down that nobody noticed because we made it. Um, so I, I think maybe we made two during the game. But um, again, you you got to you got to be able to make second and one, third and one, fourth and one. Uh, so give Georgia Tech great credit again. Andrew Jones, go ahead. Coach, um, how surprised are you by the way the team played tonight and? didn't appear to have, like you said, like Florida State last year, there's been so much talk about it. What is the level of surprise that your team performed this way and came out this way? Well, I would say, uh, Andrew, our defense played the best first half they've played, holding a team to, to 81, 82 yards in the first half. 
and and the offense didn't help them at all and gave them short fields and um, so they they played great till Sims came in and and then he just ran up and down the field so um, but I, I was proud of their effort in the first half that's why I thought we'd win the game um, offensively I was really disappointed kicking game we blocked a punt so. What happens in these situations, and you have to be really careful, all of us are very disappointed tonight. And what we do is we look at everything that happened bad because there's a lot of bad that happened. And we don't look at anything that happened good. What I, I learned at Texas from Coach Royal one time, I said, the team played awful and they quit. I told them that after a game where we, we didn't play well. And he said, be really, really careful. There's a lot of young guys that played great and they fought their guts out. And, and this may be the best game they've ever played. So when you're playing that many players, uh, don't categorize them by, uh, boy, this team played bad. As a team, we played bad. As individuals, a lot of guys probably played really, really good and fought their guts out, and, and we'll have to acknowledge them tomorrow when we talk about all of the bad, which will be over-discussed over this week. Uh, was I surprised? I'm always surprised when we – we play poorly as a team and I always put it on me. It's my responsibility. And, um, I thought we had the better team. I thought we had finally learned from last week. Uh, I wanted to see us play better on defense. Um, and I thought we'd continue to grow on offense and, and, um, we, we did the first part for the first half and not the second half. Uh, and we, we played pretty good the second half offensively. We just didn't have the ball very much and, and, uh, we're in a deep hole. Thank you. Thank you. Adam Smith, go ahead. Mac, I can, we can see and hear how, how frustrated you are and you've used the words embarrassed and disappointed. Is tonight one of those nights where you go into the locker room and you know have an airing of grievances? Like how, how do you handle the post game after um, a disappointment like this? Did you kind of air it out in there? Yeah, Adam, I'm not very good. So what I do is I, I try to tell everybody how I feel. And, and I, I told them exactly what I've told you. Um, and I've told them it, it's, it's on all of us. It's on our coaches. It's on me because I'm responsible for everything that happens. And, and, and what happened for North Carolina football tonight wasn't good. So that's on me. It, it, it all comes back to me. Um, and, and then frustrated, I don't think it's my word. I don't get frustrated very much. I get disappointed. And, and um, kind of what Andrew said, you all been around me a whole lot. And I, I get, uh, uh, was I surprised? Yeah, I'm always surprised if we don't do something right. We work really, really hard to put a great product on the field for our institution and for our fans and for each other. And uh, we didn't do that tonight. And, and that's what's so disappointing. I mean, it is what it is. I talk to the kids about facts all the time. I, I can sit here and try to say it's different than that. It's not. That's that's the way it is. Probably at some point in my career, I'd say, "Well, we did some good things," and then, you know, and I, oh, that's true. But but we got a lot to fix. All right, last one for Coach uh, Michael Coe. Go ahead. Hey, Coach, uh, were you guys not expecting uh, Sims to come in come into the game for Yates at least so early in the game? Uh, did that kind of catch you and the defense off guard? Well, we talked about it. We didn't know if he was healthy or not because he hadn't played in a while, but uh, uh, we did. But, Michael, he's so good. I mean, it's, it's hard to show his speed in practice. He looks like Vince Young. When I saw him as a true freshman, I said, oh, my gosh, that guy's going to be really good. And he's going to give Georgia Tech a, a, a chance each week. And I thought he looked great tonight. He, did, he turned it over some in his past, and that had been a problem for him. Well, uh, he didn't do that tonight. He, he looked great, and, um, and I looked for him after the game, couldn't find him because he, I thought he was the difference in the ball game. Thanks. Thank you. All right, Coach, thanks for your uh, couple of minutes. Safe travels back. Thank you, folks.